<laughs> when you've concluded this test, you will return to the story. Did you guys have the... Do you wish to proceed? Did you have the Simpsons movie maker? No, I can't remember what the one was was that my friend had but we used to just like create all of the people that we knew in it and just make them do like really dumb shit <laughs> um like you know like the teacher yells at you in class and so then i like the next time we get together like we made like a thing of the teacher and the teacher's being like i'm gonna pick my nose and like poop on the floor <laughs> and, like it was just like we were like really little kids so it was very, all very juvenile why don't we dabble a bit in the realm of the psychic Let's not. Here's a little game to test this your powers of extrasensory perception. Okay. You will observe four cards face up on my table and a fifth card that is face down. Look at the symbols on the face of the up cards. Square, up. triangle, circle, plus up. sign. The face down card is one of these four. Okay. This is what I I'm want feeling... you to do. Concentrate. Use all your psychic abilities. <laughs> Form a mental picture of the hidden card and tell me what symbol is on its face. Make your choice by clicking on one of the four up cards. Up card, is that the like image up on dog? the face down card will be changed after each turn. Oh, I thought oh. we were already doing it. I was trying Very to well. channel my psychic energies. Let's begin. I was, and I chose triangle. <gasps> Powerful. Yeah. All right. Okay. I choose triangle. What do you choose? Square. Okay. Simply <gasps> amazing. <laughs> Stacy, psychic. All right. Circle. What do you choose? Circle. Concentrate. Wow, okay. All right, all right. All right, channel these energies. Plus sign, what do you see? Circle. Don't give yourself a headache. He's just gonna choose triangle over This reminds me of the beginning of Ghostbusters, where the we were having the beautiful woman, he was lying to that beautiful woman that she was psychic. And then he was shocking the dude, because... Remember the beginning of Ghostbusters? No. He was like a I don't remember school. Ghostbusters like pretty much at all. He was a professor in paranormal studies and he was doing a test and he was telling this pretty girl that she was getting all the answers right and then this other guy was also trying to do it but if he got the answer wrong he it would shock them so he was shocking the dude. Uh-huh. That's the story. Oh, okay. Okay, which one do you feel? Plus sign. Simply amazing. All right, we can't think about it too much. We just have to channel you it. You just have to, Circle. Yeah. Relax. Damn it. Okay. Okay. What do you feel, Stacy? I swear to God, if it's another fucking triangle. Is it? Do we, what do you think? Don't even think about it. Just do it. Square. Concentrate. I... He just picks triangle over and over. This is... Let your thoughts <laughs> flow. Okay, okay. All right. How many times do we have to Plus do this? You have skills that rival Kreskin. Splendid. We'll have to do this again. Who's Kreskin? I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Doesn't make any sense. Play the video. Is it not? Well, oh, here we go. Oh. Look at that 90s truck. Look, she's like oh. up and about because society Did you makes get it seem like mental bed. health is equivalent to being how beautiful you are. Kreskin is a magician. <gasps> She's uh -huh. beautiful. Little puppy. Jody will love her. Does she have don't a name? Don't name the dog. Oh, she does, I don't know. it. Oh, Jody can name her. How cute. Mm. Don't you love her? Yeah, she's cute. Let's show her to Jody. Uh, you go ahead. I'm going to go build a run in the back. Thank you, Michael. Thank you so much. Mm. What? what? <laughs> 
So I love how some people in the comments were like, aside from like this one thing, the stuff that she does is not very like whatever. I didn't see that, but yeah, I think depending on what you choose, that's it how she gets First more. of all, that is not an outside dog, sir. That is an inside dog. He belongs in the human bed to be cuddled. I don't like that. That's not big enough. I have a feeling someone's gonna kill the dog and I don't like that. <sighs> Who would kill the dog? I don't know. I've seen Fatal Attraction. Allison! No dogs no. on the bed in this house. Come on, you little mutt. Don't be mean. He deserves it. Oh. That's right. What's that? I rescued you from the pound, remember? No. You'll regret that. <laughs> I don't like this man. I don't like him anymore. Allison! I like, I like how he's talking to the dog as if the dog can understand, like... I mean, I have fun conversations with dogs, but I don't like... You're but, like, here? you'll regret that? <laughs> yeah, Do you think the dog understands that? That's, like, great. He's angry and drinking beer. Horrible. I hate this. Allison! Not to invalidate his personal struggles. Please be quiet. We're trying to develop some concentration. Allison in there with you? They're... They're See, she's Yeah. Not to invalidate his personal struggles as a caregiver to someone who's struggling, and also to his grief, but I don't think drinking and yelling at animals is helping, helping yeah. at all. Leon, it's Michael. Not too bad, how about yourself? Well, we've taken on a full-time nurse. It seems to be working out well enough where I think I can finally come back to work. Thanks, Leon. I appreciate it. Well, she's a therapist, actually. Oh, I'd say she has things under control, to say the least. Okay. Great. I'll see you tomorrow. How much is this costing? Like, it has to cost a fortune. I know. Jody decided to name her new dog Punky, even though she looks nothing like the first Punky. What does Catherine have to say about that? Oh, she thinks it's a good choice. You know, I was looking for you earlier, but I guess you were in Catherine's room. She's teaching me meditation. What was it like? It's wonderful. No, I mean, what did you do? We meditated. Yeah, but what's meditation all about? I didn't know you had such an interest in meditation, Mr. Overton. I'm curious about a lot of things. Perhaps you should try a session with me. I don't think so. Well, why not? You just said you were interested. No, I didn't. <laughs> yes, you did, Michael. I just heard you. <laughs> You'll be a happier person, I guarantee it. Look, I just don't want to, all right? Why do you feel the need to get upset when someone offers you help? I don't need your help. <laughs> Allison, I've made a decision. I'm going back to work tomorrow. Well, that's wonderful, Michael. You need to get out of the house. You're getting too <laughs> serious. I'd be mad. I'd be <laughs> so mad. <laughs> okay. This has... Fine. And tomorrow you're on your own. Not exactly. I've got Catherine to take care of me. This is energy. Well, things really are looking up, aren't they? Allison <laughs> is doing extremely well. Michael's going back to work. That Catherine really is impressive. Um. Though I can't help <laughs> but be a little curious about her meditation sessions with Allison. Wonder what they're uh. actually doing in there. I have some ideas. Not, I really, not that two women can't be alone together and meditate nude. Is... I really what? don't like the idea. Like, I know that some people ship the wife and the nurse. I really don't like the idea of the two of them getting together. I think in terms of fun and just, like, chilling, it's good. But in real life, mm -mm, no. Yeah. Because she's her psychiatric nurse and she's very... And the wife is, like, very clearly in a really delicate place and wouldn't be able to give informed consent at all. Yeah. But in terms of this Let's Play and the game, I think it's a fun thing to do. Just so long as you realize that in real life, that would be the most fucked up thing in the world. That would be, yeah, because that's like somebody in a position, like in a, you know, 
this is like it's okay to do in fan fiction but not in real life fan fiction is not real fan fiction is not <laughs> should real. not be <laughs> but i think see that's the problem is when you take fan fiction and like people are like oh that's what people want to see and then they make a movie out of it and everyone's like mm. or when you are a weirdo on tumblr and make a post about how you sexually harassed a cast member at disney world who was dressed as kylo ren that, that was, was embarrassing. so weird was so weird but anyway just like making a distinction between fantasy and reality yes in this game it would be fun if they became a thruple or if the wife ran off with the nurse or whatever but in real life that would be gross gross and like a huge abuse of power and really predatory yeah so just remember from this point on if we were like haha this is fun it's not fun in real life yeah okay? This is fantasy. Kind of like how we've been actively saying that, like, yeah, Catherine's a tease. Catherine's asking for it when, like, that's not really true. That's not true. really true. We're just <laughs> fucking around, okay? Yeah. So just to be clear, you know, we're here to have fun, but, you know, there are... I don't want anyone watching this to be young and be like, yeah, it's totally okay for, I don't know, my therapist to try to bang me. It's not. It's <laughs> oh, absolutely not. Gross. It's not okay to have naked sessions with your, with your patient. But Fetish play is fun if it doesn't go no. too far. No, well, oh, I was gonna say exciting. Okay, exciting. But then uh, since this this is here, but like, what is too far? Not listening to safe words. No, no, no. I mean, like, in the context of this game, what's too far? Oh. There is no too far. It's exciting. <laughs> it's exciting. Was yes. Alison naked during her meditation session? Absolutely, one thousand percent. Definitely. With all the evidence we saw and no top, I saw the top side of her fake boob. Not that fake boobs are bad, because I think people should respect people with fake boobs more, because they had to earn money to buy those boobs. That's what um. I think. <laughs> I think, no, because people are always, like, derogatory towards people with fake boobs, and I was trying to say something positive. Oh. Like, you know, they earn those boobies. Yeah. Should Michael I don't know if I agree work? with that. Not that I'm saying people should, like, dislike them, but I think it's just like any other thing. Like, who cares? Uh, breast equality? Yeah. Bre yeah, Stacy believes in breast equality. Should Michael return to work? Yeah. I mean, he needs his own space, right? And a job. Yeah. It is better never to deceive anyone. False. I think it is better to never deceive anyone to the best of your ability. You want to say no? You want to say? Team Are we lies? having fun or what? Oh yeah, we. I'm want on chaos. team. I'm on team lies I here. I tend to My... be the person who reads manuals first. False. Is this gonna be where it's gonna cut to him trying to Mari, build the treehouse? Mari, you tree need house? to. You're so bad at embracing the chaos <laughs> energy. Every time we come back to this, you're like, it's better to never deceive anybody. Everything is safe. Don't go too far. And I'm sitting here being like, let's drive this train off the rails as fast as we can. <laughs> Two elements of order and chaos <laughs> fight. <laughs> It's like it's like we're two gods playing with these people's lives. Mm -hmm. Like, no, make them all have a threesome and then destroy their lives. I'm like, wait, what if they had a threesome and had a good life? And they all respected each other. No. <laughs> they destroy themselves. I think I have a tumor somewhere in my head. Say yes. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yes. This is the year of saying yes. That's but so, only if it's that's chaotic. That's really messed up, though. This is a chaotic... Yeah. Thing. Again... This is a fantasy where we ruin fantasy people's lives. Yeah. We're finally in a game where we can play through the renegade option. Oh, we finally get to see this drawing. What? It's like a naked... Oh, wait. That's weird. I honestly can't tell what that is Okay, so this is the head. This is the body. This oh, is the naked leg. legs spread apart. And here's a penis. And so I just... I worry... This guy keeps talking about, like, things he doesn't want to remember. And, like, there's these things that are, like, subconsciously there. It's weirding me out. Hmm. Huh. Oh, I, w I have a question. So, mm -hmm. do you think that there is... So, we've obviously been playing this for, like, chaos and giggles. 
Do you think that there's actually a playthrough of this where you get a happy ending and things go well? Uh, probably. Or do you what? think, it, or do you think it's all just kind of, oh, Mari died. My name is in here. I never see my name in places. So it's like novel to me. What? Do they somehow know my name and they went into the game or? Mari fell to her death. On a breathtaking sunny day, kind of day, blah, blah, blah. Mm. And my eight-year-old daughter, Mari, fell to her death stumbling from a footbridge on the Rogue River. I'm not, I'm just going to skim this. Yeah, through the surviving sun. So all the kids died. This book was written as an attempt to escape from my paralysis and find explanations in my family's disintegration. Blah, blah, blah. Basically an allegory to what's going on in the game. Uh, shattered dreams, broken hearts. It was only through fully experiencing my grief after three years of paralysis that I began to discover the healing process. I began to go back into Mari's bedroom. No scattered bedtime stories on the floor. No crayons. Blah, blah, blah. Pictures and more pictures memorialize our lives together in this antiseptic vacuum of a bedroom where the fire of life is gone forever. Rage, grief. So this is basically reflecting what's going on in the game and how the husband's feeling right now. Long before my husband and son had moved out of the shrine I had created for Mari and me. Da, da, da. I was a gaping Building mood. walls. I was I was a, a gaping wound. Yeah, that's what is, kind of uh, like, I don't okay. know. I slowly began to forgive God and Mari and my husband and my son and all those well-intentioned sympathizers said and did all blah, blah, blah. I began to form an effort to share my process with others, knowing so well I can never completely understand your experience. It will that. help. Struggle on. Live. Uh, steady. Let's see what kind of weird shit he wrote into his thing. Can you believe this? I mean, first the television, and then the goddamn dog. A dog. This is too much. My daughter is... This guy's losing it. She's dead. And my wife just can't... She can't accept it. I thought when Catherine got here we'd get rid of these fantasies, but this is... This is just ridiculous. I hope things would get better, but... They're just getting worse. A lot worse. I feel like things are getting way better. Well, for Catherine, I guess. <laughs> Not for you. I need another beer. So I was thinking that actually having her as a live-in nurse might not actually be that expensive because she's here for alter ulterior purposes. Wait, so for studying? No, remember, she's writing a book about this. That's what I meant, as a studying, like studying the people. Oh, yeah. So, like, it's probably actually not... Like, she... She probably looked at it as an opportunity to study them. Mm. And, <clears throat> I mean, maybe she's making a lot of money off of it, but maybe she also just kind of gave them a deal so that she could use the opportunity. I can see the lies in Allison's face like a stain, like a black ink stain. I want to reach out and hold her face in my hands and wipe the fantasy off it. But I'm afraid that everything will come off and I'll, I will be left holding a skull. Put the television in Chody's room. Get a dog. My God. What lies? A puppy? Come on. She has got to be kidding. I confronted Catherine. I told her how I feel about what she's doing. About the dog, Jody's room, everything. I laid it on the line. Now I'm going to Turner's office and tell him what's going on. I'm not going to get a puppy. That's final. She was there. She was in Turner's office. Why was she dressed like that? <laughs> were they on a date? Were they? What were they talking about? Me, probably. I don't feel like I can trust either one of them. But Allie seems so happy. God, I'm confused. I'm so confused. When Catherine was sitting there, she gave me that sexy smile of hers. God, she's a tease. No, <laughs> oh, your turn. Dr. Turner has been trying to get me to go to this group therapy thing. The other day, I finally went to one of the meetings. I sat in the car up until the last minute trying to decide if I really wanted to go inside. It was held at a grade school. All of the little kids' drawings were hanging on the walls in the hallway. There's something so amazing about children's drawings, so free and unselfconscious. It's like every kid is born an artistic genius. Hmm. I used to stare at Jody's drawings with awe. I used to wonder what she was thinking about at the time she did them. Why did she choose that particular color? What did they mean to her? I was so proud that she was my child because part of her thoughts and dreams came from me. I could hear the group, the therapy group talking in the classroom. A woman was tell, tell, telling about her grief. <clears throat> 
how it was so overwhelming it made her choke. She said she didn't want to speak to anyone. She couldn't even stand to have people look at her. She wanted to go to a desert island and be alone until she died. I stared at the drawings. Then I walked down the dark hall and out of the building. I wanted to tell Dr. Turner about the scarecrow dream when I saw him. I wanted to ask him what he thought it meant. I guess I don't trust anybody enough to tell them these things, not even a doctor of psychiatry. Maybe I don't trust Dr. Turner. Once, years before the accident, I saw him at a concert at the Civic Music Center. I didn't know who he was back then. I mean, I didn't know he was a shrink. He was standing at the bar at intermission, gulping a glass of wine. His eyes were heavy and out of focus. His hand was shaking as he brought the glass to his lips. A young man walked up to Turner, smiled, and apologized for something that had happened between them last week. Turner gave him this cold sneer and told him to fuck off. That little scene stuck with me. I tried to imagine what their relationship was all about. Why did Dr. Turner hate this man? What had the guy done to inspire such anger? Did this exchange make it into either of these men's journals, or was it just a meaningless encounter that both have long since forgotten? I hate going to the pound. All those poor dogs. I saw a beautiful black lab. Now that's the kind of dog I would have gotten. Not one of those, these dumb little barking freaks. That stupid little mutt tried to bite me after I rescued her from certain death. What an ungrateful little bitch. She could have chosen to get the big dog. What was going on with Allison and Catherine and their meditation? It looked like Catherine was naked. Was Allison naked too? I thought that any normal guy would feel pretty weird if he knew that his wife was getting naked with some other woman. I have to admit, though, for a second it totally turned me on. I would have given anything to see what they were doing. When I asked Allison about it, she seemed so coy. Why wouldn't she tell me what they were doing? And Catherine, she looked so smug. Like the cat who's eaten the canary. At night, I wanted to hold her in my arms so badly that my stomach aches. I want to smell her skin and hold her breasts and press against her body. Who, who am I writing about here? Catherine or Allison? I haven't touched anyone for so long. Sometimes my skin feels brittle like the shell of an egg. I can't take this denial much longer. I fantasize about her all the time. What is wrong with me? Catherine was naked. I know she was naked. Was Allison naked in there too? Was she? Allison had a friend from college who was... These are so long. Here, I'll go. Allison had a friend from college who was bisexual. One summer, after we were married, this woman came and stayed with us for a couple weeks. She was really attractive and funny, and she was practically a nudist. She would lounge around all day in it, just a towel or a tiny bikini. Allison started doing the same thing. Once I walked in on them lying on our bed, they were totally naked and laughing like little girls. They looked so beautiful together, I wanted to join them. Just thinking about the two of them like that made me incredibly aroused. One night, the three of us got drunk. Allison's friend playfully suggested that we have a threesome. <clears throat> Allison actually said that it might be kind of fun. I was all for it, but then Allison chickened out. She said she couldn't do it with her because she was her friend. Could she do it with a stranger? Why do I keep going over this in my mind? I have to stop thinking about it. I have to get out of here. I want Leon... I called Leon. I told him I was coming back to work. I can't sleep again. A crow woke me up. It was fighting with a blue jay outside our window. On my 10th birthday, my dad bought me a twenty two rifle. It was incredibly excited. I was incredibly excited. I immediately went into the woods looking for a deer or a rabbit. I told dad that I would bring back dinner. After a couple hours, I hadn't seen anything. I was humiliated and angry. A huge black crow flew up and landed in the branches above me. It looked at me strangely, cocked its head to the side. When it started to caw, <clears throat> the harsh sound was annoying. The crow kept it up. After a while, it seemed like the bird was mocking me. Get out of here, I screamed. It crowed louder. Suddenly, a strange furry over fury. A strange furry overcame me. <laughs> a strange fury overcame me. I felt my spine tingle. I grabbed, and he started yiffing me and not <laughs> inside me. I grabbed the rifle and fired a shot at the animal. The crow let out a screech and fell into the ground at my feet. I was astonished. I had never been even fired a gun before. My first shot took that bastard down. Dad would be so proud. I then realized. <sighs> Then I realized with horror, the crow was still alive, still alive but terribly wounded, suffering. I had shot him in the wing. He would never fly again. He was helpless. He hauled himself up and tried to flap his broken wing. He stared at me. 
His mouth opened and screamed. His black eyes were more piercing than anything I had ever seen. I didn't know what to do. I couldn't leave him there to suffer, to be attacked and eaten by some other animal, so I shot him again. This blew off part of his leg. <laughs> he shrieked louder. A strange resentment for this creature started to overcome me. How dare it accuse me? How dare it make me feel guilty? I hadn't meant to hurt it. I was filled with a searing, hateful violence. Oh, my God. I started beating him with the butt of the rifle. I beat him into a pulp in a wild, vicious tantrum. The twenty-two cracked and broke. I left them there, the gun and the crow, and I ran crying home. When I told Dad what had happened, he didn't say a word. He just shook his head. That's really messed up. That was a really disturbing story. Uh, don't fuck with crows, because if the rest of its murder saw you, it's going to remember you forever. And torment you until you die. Because they remember your face. And even when the crows that originally saw it are dead, the crows tell each other what you did. And they'll continue to attack you for like 80 years. The next TAT will be given in... Here we go. Oh, someone in the comments said that the psychiatrist is played by the guy who gets his chest bursted in Alien. Yeah. That's a pretty cool piece of information. Thank you. I knew he looked familiar from a lot of different things and it just wasn't coming together. Oh, so, yeah. So, cool comment. Well, because we, we knew he was John Hurt. Yeah, but I didn't realize oh. that he was an alien. Oh. Yeah, he's in a bunch of stuff. Somebody got really Dr. pissed Betty, because they were like, oh. My kitty cat died. <laughs> You're what? <gasps> she was uh, sick. Uh, so old. 18. She, she was so thin. She died in my arms. When did it die? It was three months ago. And you're still upset? Are you sure this is the real problem? <laughs> What? what do you mean? I'm not sure the death of your kitty is the real problem here. Well, what is it then? Why don't you take a guess? I can't. Try for me. Am I afraid of death? I don't know. Is that it? Am I afraid of losing people close to me? That might be it. I'm afraid of loss. I'm too attached, aren't I? I don't want to give up anything that I consider to be mine. The kitty cat was probably just a symbol of that attachment. She was really kind of an irritating little kitty anyway. Always what? meowing and scratching the furniture and peeing she was on like the rug. Laughing. Was Our weird. house still smells bad, but... <laughs> I didn't want to let her go. <laughs> she was so pretty and died so slowly. <laughs> Why does everything I love have to die? Why? Why? Why does God have to be like that? I want to be a good person. I try to be a Christian, but... But I think you're onto something here. Kitty isn't really the problem. Maybe I'm the problem. Is that what you think? Maybe, Sandy. Maybe you're right. Let's take a commercial break. <laughs> okay. Uh... Oh, I was going to... But I, as what I was going to say was that some people <laughs> were a little irritated that... We referred to him as a semi-famous actor. They were like, um, he's very famous. Like, okay. <laughs> um, which I, yes, but also like, I don't remember, how many actors do we see all the time? I don't know who everybody is. I made pancakes and Michael decided that Jody should have a new dog. Jody's first dog ate slow slug poison and died a horrible death and Jody decided to name her Punky. Catherine is my best friend in the world. Jody loves her too. To be fair, I do think it was a bad call to force the husband to get a dog. Yeah. Definitely. It's just like having a pet is a commitment and it seems... It shouldn't be done in order to appease a mentally ill person. Yeah. Unless you want unless you want to unless you want the dog 